744 Rogue One, a Star Wars story comes out this week and Fox 5 house dog Dr. Shafu is here with, listen to this, how the technology of their health care is really not too far off in our distant future. Doctor, good morning. Good morning, Raul. Really? All that technology is uh, kind of sort of getting into real life? You know, we do things a little differently on planet Earth, Raul, but, but certainly the big thing is that computers are, are really making some inroads into how we handle and deal with very delicate surgical procedures. For example, Raul, you know, we know we're using computers to simulate results for patients, but in virtual reality, in terms of, you know, redoing or over and over again practicing complex procedures, but, but also robots and computers have become very important in surgery. For example, general surgery, there's a use of what's called the Da Vinci surgical system, right. which will allows surgeons to use robots to do some of these very fine motor delicate tasks and avoids you know, uh, the fatigue of the surgeon. In addition, we're seeing uh, that same area in, in hair restoration, which is you know, part of my field where there's a robotic system called Artis, which actually can, uh, has a robotic arm to harvest the grafts and then actually make the sites to cause the least amount of damage, put the grafts in, wow. so it's remarkable that uh, robots are, are making some huge changes in how we can practice medicine and surgery. Let's talk about the advanced pattern recognition because uh, that's led to some apps as well to yes. help in the medical field. Explain exactly. That. Well, um, that's something that's been developed by Apple and there are some apps that have been developed, one for autism where they're al yeah. actually using the smartphone and looking at actually facial recognition patterns and being able to determine or maybe pick up some early signs of of developmental wow. abnormalities that may then alert the you know the, the pediatrician to something that the family may notice and say hey you know doc there's something we've noticed on this app maybe more testing is involved they're also using it there's another app that's being used for people in the psychiatric field to look at behavioral changes and and how that can impact one's mental health so these are things that are really developing and it sure. really makes it an exciting time to be a physician and, and we've read articles before where inventors and and, and folks in the, in, the, in the science field and the medical field, they've credited shows like Star Trek and movies like Star Wars with giving them the ideas and, and kind of the inspiration for a lot of the technology we use today, right? I think that's very true. You know, a lot of the, the technology that we're using today has its beginnings in, in the creative minds of people yeah. in Hollywood that have developed these uh, technologies to be used in, in the film industry and certainly in medicine and in uh, science, you know, it's about, it's about your ability to imagine something and then how can we utilize our technology to, to reach these uh, results for patients. Okay, so we know from the movies that the droid surgeon fitted Luke Skywalker with that bionic hand, remember right. that? A robot midwife oversaw the delivery of Princess Leia. So, so, so take us 10, 20 years into the future of your industry. Are gonna, more robots gonna be in the OR actually doing the procedures? It, it, you know, it, it, they're, they're there now. I mean, basically in 2016, we're having robots <clears throat> that are actually helping assist it with surgery, whether it's prostate surgery, uh, hysterectomies, you know, in my field, uh, hair restoration. And, and we're also gonna see that that's gonna continue to evolve further and further, where the robot may take the place of a lot of these very, very technically uh, tiring, repetitive procedures that can actually be done more efficiently and effectively by a machine. Again, as you said earlier, Royal, it's not going to replace the physician, but some of these will allow the physician maybe to have more, more time with the patient. Uh, and, and these procedures that are more um, very technically demanding or repetitive yeah. can be handled more effectively by a computer. I'll tell you what, it's all fascinating stuff. Yes. Dr. Tafu, we ta thank you this morning for all your expertise. And by the way, if you're going to see the movie this weekend, are you? Are you oh, definitely, see? yes. I, I have a little review coming up later oh, in the perfect. show in the 9 o'clock hour. Okay. For what it's worth. Thanks, <laughs> Doc. Appreciate thank it. Thank you, Doyle. Time now.